In this lesson, we're going to be covering how we can use a while loop in Python. And a while loop is very similar to a for loop. It has a condition and it's going to loop through the program until that condition is false. So to get started, we're going to create a number, which is going to equal zero. And then we're going to go ahead and type in while number is less than three. We want to print hello there. And this is going to be true forever if we just leave it like this. So it's very important that each time we go through this, we increment the number by one. So when we run the program, we're going to get hello there three times. And just to show you what's happening behind the scenes, we can go ahead and print the number as well. So it's going to go from zero, one, and then two. And the moment this turns to three, this is going to evaluate to false and it's going to exit out of the while loop. So that was the most basic example of using the while loop. And of course, we're going to go ahead and create a few other examples. So the next one we're going to create is very similar. While number is less than five, we're going to increment the number by one. But if the number is divisible by two, Then we're just going to go ahead and print some dashes. And I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to introduce to you the continue keyword. So here we're going to type in continue. And what continue does is if this condition gets checked and we reach this, it's going to go all the way back to the top of this and not execute any of the code under here. So for example, here we're going to type in print number and we're going to type is odd because if it's not divisible by two, the number is going to be odd. But what the continue statement does is prevent this from being printed each time we go through the loop. So step by step, it's going to start the iteration. It's going to go plus one. It's going to check if the number is divisible by two. If it is, it's going to print this and it's going to continue back to the top and increment again. If it is not divisible by two, it's going to skip this if statement and just print the odd number and go back to the top. So this is just a premature end for the current iteration. So if we go ahead and click on save, you're going to notice one is odd, three is odd, and five is odd. So that was a second scenario in how you would use the while loop. Now we're going to go ahead and create a small program that is going to help us with doing some very basic addition. So we're gonna go ahead and type in total equals zero, and while true, which is an infinite while loop, because I'm going to introduce to you another keyword that's going to help us exit it. But for this example, we want it to loop forever. We're going to create some user input, which is going to equal input. And we want the user to enter a number. And now it's important that whatever number they enter turns into an integer. So we have to convert it to an int because by default, whatever we get as an input is going to be processed as a string. So we're going to add that and we're going to create an if else statement. So if the user input is equal to zero, then we're going to print the total by doing that. And we are going to break out of the loop. So break, just make sure that we can end the loop at any point of the program. As soon as we run into this, this is going to result as false and it's going to exit out of this entire block. Else, if they did not input zero, we're going to go ahead and type in total plus equal user input. Now we can go ahead and run the program and enter a number. So we will start with 10, then we can go ahead and type in five, then we can type in 12. And as soon as we type in zero, it's going to trigger this one right here it's going to break out of the loop and it's also going to print to us the total. And we can run that again and do one, 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 three, two, two, and, and zero. And we're going to get a total of 10. So in a way we created a very simple calculator that can add. So those were a few examples of how we can use the while loop. And in the next video, we're going to be going over how we can use the pass statement.